Byte Dance has just dropped Bagel, which is a multimodal model that can handle both image and text inputs and outputs. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install Bagel on our local system and we will play around to see what exactly this is all about. This model offers capabilities which are comparable to proprietary models like GPT-40 and Gemini 2. The cool thing about this model which has struck me is its architecture. So before I show you the installation, give me a few seconds to explain the architecture in very simple words. What it does is it follows a mixture of expert architecture. A mixture of expert is a deep learning architecture that combines multiple expert models, each specializing in a specific task or domain to improve performance and capacity. Bagel's architecture is based on mixture of transformer experts or MOT framework that utilizes multiple transformer experts to maximize capacity. It also uses two separate encoders for pixel level and semantic level image features and a next group of token prediction paradigm to predict the next group of language or visual tokens and that makes it distinct from rest of the lot. So now let's try to get it installed and we will see how exactly this works. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. Let's start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to mass compute in video's description and you can rent this H100 or any other GPU on very, very cheap price. I will also give you a 50% discount coupon, which you can find in video's description. Okay, so after the environment, let's git clone the repo of Bagel and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Once that's done, let's install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo. And that is going to take few minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as a B test for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies. And you can find the link to their website in videos description too. And now we need to download the model for that. Let's log into hugging face and you would need your free read token from huggingface.co, which you can grab from your profile. So I already have the read token, so I'm just going to put it here and then log into the hugging face. Next up, let's download the model. I'm just going to launch my Python interpreter and from there, I'm just going to um, paste this code to download the model. So this is a code. If you look at it, all I'm doing, I'm importing the hugging face hub snapshot download, then I'm uh, giving it a directory where I want the model to be saved. This is a repo ID from hugging face. And then I am specifying the cache directory where exactly the model's checkpoints will be. And then this is a function to download the actual model. And as soon as you run it, it is just start going to download all the checkpoints. So let's wait for it. You can see that the size is over 29 gig for this actual model file. And I believe there is also some variational auto encoder. So let's wait for this to get downloaded. And the model is now downloaded. Let's exit from here. And then let me clear the screen. Now we can launch our demo with the help of this script, which they have provided in the repo. Okay, so once you run it, you can see that it will give you this error. So it means that you would need to just open your app.py in VS Code and make sure that you give it the proper path. So let me open it. So you just have to make the change in this line number 23. I'm just going to replace it with the path where I have saved the model. Sorry, let me copy that again. My copy paste really doesn't work properly in this. VM and there you go. So it is saved now. Let's go back and then run it in our terminal again. 
and then you will see that it is running on our local host at port 7860 it is also available at this public url but i'm just going to uh, use this link in my local system and there you go so bagel is running let me make it bigger okay much better so as i mentioned earlier at the start there are three things which you can do with it you can generate an image from text prop like this one you can edit an image and you can understand the image so first let's check out this text to image i'm also going to turn on the thinking here so it is i'm just going to go first with this one where this female cosplayer is doing something so let's go here and click on generate let's wait for it and this is a vram consumption so over 30 gig of vram is needed as it runs so let's wait let's close this terminal i would really love to see the thinking process which i can't really anyway and it has given us the result so this is the thinking which it has done that again chain of thought First, it is understanding the prompt and then it is creating the image and look at the image. Oh my goodness, this is real good quality. It is very, very good quality. I don't see any malformation. It is actually quite good. Look at the butterflies and all that cost character. Really, really good stuff. I think really good quality. Okay, so this is good. Let's try out another one. And now let's do the image editing. First, I'm just going to select one of my own image. And then I'm just going to change the, give it the prompt to change the image. So here I'm asking it, he boards a modern subway, quietly reading a folded newspaper, wearing the same clothes. Let's see what it does in terms of image editing. And I just want to see how long does it take so maybe i'll pause it and then i'll tell you how long does it take and there you go so it has changed it my image is totally off clothing is it has tried to do the same clothing but well what can i say i think it is it hasn't retained the image but image so it is not image editing it is an image regeneration with some of the cfg which means that it has tried to follow the prompt. Interesting. Okay, let's do image understanding. Okay, so I think this is the one I'm not sure with. You know what? I think this is the one I have been using in my videos. Maybe I'll just move it. So I am just going to get an another one and then we will do the image understanding. Maybe I'll do the OCR first. So I have given it this image, which contains a lot of languages um, in one text. So let's see what it can do here. And I'm just asking it to extract the text from this image. So, so far, text to image generation was good. Image editing, not so. Let's check out the OCR. So look, I think OCR is pretty good. Not bad at all. What do you think? Yeah, OCR looks good. And now let's do the handwritten one OCR. Let's see what it does. There you go, pretty quick. So if I quickly check it, I think it is also quite good. Yep, it has even retained this comma. Very nice. Okay, so OCR and text to image is quite good. So let's do some more prompts in terms of text to image. Okay, next up, I'm asking it a transparent glass of water with ice cubes and condensation, reflection of city lights on wet pavement at night, a mirror reflecting a room with multiple light sources, smoke rising from a candle in the dramatic lighting. Let's see. So this is sort of a technical test um, which we are doing. And now look at this. I think this is magnificent. I think text to image is simply amazing. Look at the pavement and the droplets and the crystal cubes. I think attention to detail is really sublime in my opinion. What do you think? Okay, let's try out another one. 
so i'll just click on generate and we will then read through it so next i'm testing the professional photography that this this is a professional headshot of a businessman in a suit studio lighting street photography of people walking in the rain with umbrellas macro photography of a butterfly on a flower with a shallow depth of field golden hour landscape photography of rolling hills and wildflowers yes i know i have mixed and matched all these prompts i just want to see if model gets confused or what exactly it does when there are some unrelated different prompts at the same time if it can generate a professional photograph okay let's see what it has done with the mumbo jumbo i haven't even checked it myself there you go much much better yep you see it's all great really good stuff i just want to see i don't see the hands anyway we'll check it later okay in the next one i'm just going to test out the emotion and gesture posture so a dancer mid leap with flow, flowing fabric and dynamic movement okay let's check this one out i'm just going to scroll down wow this is seriously good yep feet are also good the shape of feet is good this could be better i think this leg could be better but i think we will take it so pretty nice i would say but if you look here the this hand the left one is very very malformed okay but i think it tried it best best maybe we'll check it this way uh, let's check out the steampunk airship flying around, uh, flying through the cloud skies. You know, the components of image is really good, but unfortunately it couldn't do the human figure properly. Anyway, we will give it another test, maybe without, with some of the hand and feet stuff. Okay, let's check this one out. Okay, this one is pretty good, not bad at all. What do you think? Yeah, this one is nice okay let's try out a hand one i'm just fixated on that hand so i'll just run it and then we will read through the prompt so i'm asking it close up of elegant hands with painted nails holding a delicate flower let's see okay so let's check out what exactly has it has done here okay then let's count the fingers oops oops i think it can't do the hand and feet properly you see even the nails are not good enough anyway but other than that i think it is quite good okay so you know what i just want to give image editing one more try so i'm just going to upload upload one more image so i have uploaded this image and these all images are ai generated by the way so i'm asking it remove the candles from the image let's see if it can do that at least let's wait for it and there you go this time it has done wonderfully well you see both of these candles are gone now pretty nice very good okay so maybe if i i will ask it remove the maybe say replace left woman with uh maybe i'll say fish why not Okay, let's see what it does here yep there you go pretty good pretty good actually not bad so you know what i think model has its limitation but it's not that bad i think it is quite good okay let's do a very final one and what i'm going to do i'm just going to generate this image and i am what i'm testing in this is two things first i'm testing if model can write text so if you look at the prompt it says a cheerful young blonde woman in casual clothing holding up a cardboard which says subscribe to the channel and like videos and i'm making her to say that because you guys are not listening to me uh, so maybe you would listen to her and subscribe to the channel and like video and share it so let's see what it produces and there she is so let's see yep cheerfulness is there so emotion it can really uh, depict yep it cannot do the text and it definitely cannot do the hands maybe thumb is hiding but i don't think so 
but you know what she's saying right so that's it let me know what do you think about this model um, pretty good even with its limitations i think the quality is quite good if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching